All right, in this problem, we're going to solve for the spring constant given uh, compression X and elastic potential energy uh, EPA. So again, what is the spring constant of a spring that's compressed 10 centimeters and has 0.65 joules of EPE, elastic potential energy, stored in it? So we'll start off by identifying our knowns. Let's just pick something contrasty. We'll stick with red. And it says the EP, the what is the spring constant K of a spring that is compressed 10 centimeters and has 0.65 joules of EPA? There's one minor thing that we'll do before we solve this problem. We'll express, express the X compression as meters, so 10 centimeters or 0.1 meters, one tenth of a meter. So we're good to go. Uh, the EPE is defined and K is an unknown. We know that EPE is one half K X squared. So EPE, I'll just rewrite quickly, is again still one half K X squared. We'll manipulate this equation up top and leave it there so we can see it. After we manipulate, solving for K, we'll divide through by X squared and multiply by two, canceling the two and the two and the X squared. So K will be two times the EPE divided by X squared. So two times the EPE are 0.65 joules. I'm going to express these as Newton meters because Newton meters are joules divided by 0.1 squared. That's 0.1 of 0.1, which will be, well, let's just do 0.1 squared. And it's going to be 0.01, but we'll figure this out once we do the math. And 0.1 squared, I'm sorry, 0.1 meters squared. So the units when we work this out will be Newton meters per meters squared. We'll cancel meters and cancel meters. So we end up with Newtons per meter, which are the units for K, the spring constant. Let's just... Instead of doing the math, we can reveal the answer. 2 times 0.65 divided by 0 0.01, don't forget to square that, will give us 130 newtons per meter. So the physical meaning of the spring constant is how the, it's the amount of force required to stretch a spring one meter. So this spring would require 130 newtons of force to stretch one meter, and twice that, 260 newtons to stretch two meters. Remember, the farther you stretch a spring, the more effort or force is required.